Дорогие друзья, 15 сентября 2018 года, юбилейное заседание Виски Повала, 10, -е. 10 -е заседание а, соберет всех наших многоуважаемых почитателей, практически во всем составе, кто был с нами все эти 10 заседаний. А, сегодня мы решили пойти путем закрытым немножко. Мы Пьем все в темную, а после того, как все это выпьем, поднимаем покрывало над бутылками и говорим, как эти бутылки и почему именно они стали за наш стол. Всем хотел бы сказать спасибо огромное за то, что это время были с нами. Вот. Надеюсь, что мы... Подметим также 20-е, 30-е, 40-е и 100-е. Вот. Ну и спасибо огромное нашему уважаемому Максику за то, что он очень много проделал работы и всех сегодня собрал. Аллилуйя, the best. Как всегда, скажем, здоровьем, друзья. In 1898, the Ben Riech distillery has very quietly been producing quality single malt Scotch whisky, which has only ever been enjoyed in very small quantities by a few discerning individuals who have been fortunate enough to come across a bottle. Today, Ben Riech continues to produce its very special single malt whiskies as an independent distillery. The Ben Riech distillery is located in the heart of Speyside, between the village of Rothes and the town of Elgin in the northeast of Scotland. The Spey Valley, in which the Benriach distillery was built by John Duff in 1898, is home to many of Scotland's great whiskies. But Benriach has its own uniqueness, born from the particular methods and skills of the men who craft the whisky, the ingredients they use, the distinctive copper stills, and high-quality barrels selected for maturation. Ароматов, скорее всего, что очень похож на Спейсайд какой-то, да, старый, думаю, около 40 лет. Вкус, как уже сказали, да, скорее всего, что это больше на горе. В аромате много черных ягод, листья смородины. Есть оттенки черного чая. Ну, чайный лист. Я думаю, что это все-таки спейсайт, пока без определения дистиллерий. В аромате, как по мне, я извиняюсь, это чистый ирландец. Он пахнет просто... 
вот просто вот этими всеми фамильными ароматами, которые присущи, ну, Red Breast, то, это, ну, вот очень сильно он пахнет. Во вкусе, конечно, я больше склоняюсь к Хайленду, поэтому вкус, вкус нам дарит сухое послевкусие, минеральное немножко, все очень хорошо, все очень красиво, это... Скорее всего, хересная бочка, там, с, может быть, с добавлением каких-то там других бочек, но, тем не менее, все очень, очень вкусно, очень богато. When you get up to the age of about 30 years old, 25, 30, 40 years old, whiskies like that can start to become quite expensive. What you've got to think about when you're buying whiskey like this is you're not buying this to, be, to, to drink really, really quickly. What you want to do is to have one or two glasses and you want that flavour to last as long and long as possible. So when you taste these things, please take into consideration the fact that you want that flavour to keep going and going and going. There is no point of spending lots of money on an expensive bottle of whiskey for that flavour to disappear after two or three seconds. And hopefully, by tasting this one, you'll understand what I mean. If you look at the colour of the whisky, it's a little bit lighter than the, than the 25 year old. The reason for that is that with the 12 year old, 15, 16, 18, 25, we've used more and more first full sherry casks as we get older and that darkens the colour because it's completely natural and that gives us that extra sweetness at every stage. However, if we were to use more first full sherry casks with the 30 year old, what actually happens is the smoke gets completely hidden you end up with this just, just, just this big sweet monster, which is wonderful, however it's not Highland Park. Highland Park is all about balance between the sweetness and the smoke uh, from the peat. So what we've done is we only use 100% refill sherry casks, and what that does is that just pulls the sweetness back ever so slightly and allows the smoke to escape. So if you turn this glass 45 degrees and spin it all the way around, this plays a wonderful trick with you. The tears and legs should appear immediately as they do there, but they don't fall down the side of the glass, they just sit there, in fact there's some crackers here, they just sit there, they're in no hurry at all to go down the side of that glass. And then, look at the size, they're really really small, it's actually the same as a 25 year old, it's 48.1% alcohol. And when we nose it, Very, very different than the 25 year old. The 25 year old, because of all those first full sherry casts, really smacks the sweetness right up your nose. This doesn't, it's a lot more subtle, even though it's still at 48.1. And we're looking for things like big obvious notes, like, like a dark chocolate or like a candied orange peel would be a really, really good way of describing it. There are lots of other things in there, but that's for you to go and find out. But more importantly, it's about the flavour. Cheers. And chew it, and chew it, and chew it. What should happen is the sides of your tongue should begin to tingle, then the top of your tongue should begin to tingle. It's like a rainbow across the back of your tongue. And then your mouth will just water and water and water. And just keep doing that and doing that for a good 30 to 40 seconds before you then have that gentle, smoky aftertaste that just coats your mouth. That's why it's a, a, a fantastic whiskey. Uh, to, to drink and that's why you buy expensive whiskies because you want that flavour to keep going and going and going. На самом деле я, у меня еще пока не, сформило, не сформировалось мнение. Я пробовал уже два или три подхода, делал по чуть-чуть. 
чувствуется возраст, там, чувствуется выдержка, чувствуется, ну, да, даже не знаю, как сформулировать, в общем, э, у молта э, такое свойство, он похож на многие молты, которые есть. Но он, он, он обладает чертами многих молтов, но вычленить что-то сейчас очень, очень тяжело. Извините. Это более сложный образец. Ему надо время. Нету пока уверенных версий. Ну, я почему-то решил, что это больше восточное Нагорье. Почему-то мне больше похож на Old Paltney. Какой-то... Олд uh, Палтни? Ну да, больше, да, 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 северная. Ну ты как сказал, не стал Да, да, да. Но стилистика больше похожа вот на горе, но вот правильно меня поправили не восточная, больше вот северная на горе. I grew up in the village of Portelland, so it's an incredible thing and, and sort of deeply meaningful for me to be moving into this role. My name is Georgie Crawford. Um, I've been the distillery manager at Lagavulin Distillery for the last seven and a half years, and I'm currently changing role to become the project implementation manager at Portelland Distillery. 
At the moment, uh, one of the main things we're trying to do is establish the personality of Port Ellen. Obviously, there has been a distillery here since the early 1800s. Uh, of course, a lot of people that drink Port Ellen today are drinking whiskey from the 60s to 80s when it was um, open for a second period during that time. And we're using a lot of our archive um, information to try and really suss out what is Port Ellen as a personality and really use our liquid archive to really understand it as a spirit as well. Port Ellen sits in an incredibly tranquil bay. Um, you know, it's absolutely beautiful views out to the lighthouse um, and out into the, the bay itself. Port Ellen, as a place, you have to remember that these distilleries were the hearts and souls of the communities that they were in and, and very much, you know, the distillery was there and then a community was built around it. Um, and that's what we want to do with the rebuild of Port Ellen, is really to put the heart back into the community. We aren't moving yet towards planning permission, but the timelines are that we still hope to have the distillery open by 2020. Идея слепой дегустации очень давно у нас зрела, и на 10 юбилейное заседание мы ее реализовали. Формат очень прикольный, нам понравилось. Я думаю, что раз в 5, 7, 10 заседаний мы его будем повторять. Когда ты не зацикливаешься на ценнике, на возрасте, на имени, ты можешь какую-то свежую дать оценку этому виски, не впечатляясь. 